Um, my name is Sharon Stewart. I'm 24 years old and I live in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, my name is Reza Sherry. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Staten Island, New York. My name is Jose Perez. I'm 45 years old and I'm from Boulder, Colorado. Hi, my name's Tori. I am 30 years old and I live in London. My name's Ella Weed. I'm 18 and I came from Portland, Oregon. My name is Diana. I'm 26 and I'm from Denmark. My name is Marianne, I'm from Denmark and I'm 29 years old. My name is Amit Sharma and I'm from Modesto, California and I'm 24 years old. Hello! My name is Naomi, I'm 23, I'm from Michigan. Hello! My name is Janelle Moyne, I am 23 years old and I am from Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Emily, I'm the Rob Ross sister. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Be approaching the 20th retreat. Wow. I don't even man. know, but. Right around there. God has said yes. Yes. And we are stoked to be a student at each retreat. Yeah. And have so many great teachers join us around the world. And uh, the take home message for me was basically. Oh, yeah, I live my life in my shell, and I'm tired of seeing that dark place. Oh. I'm tired of seeing the dark place I'm gonna come out of my shell And I'm gonna scream from the top of the mountain Hey, yeah! I'm not scared anymore I'm gonna live true to myself I think what's happened to a lot of people in our culture is that they are locked in the jail of their minds. And the keys to that jail is in your heart. I'm not a, I am not a singer, but I don't give a shit. I'm gonna shine my light and let it be known. So through mental transparency and heart vulnerability, we are unlocking those gates to give people the freedom to be themselves is Mary Ann Allegan. She's got the blonde hair with the black hair. <laughs> I think my takeaway from this retreat was um, that I'm unique and that if I don't speak up, I rub everyone else from me. My highlights of the retreat was uh, where we just let everything out. We sang. Timothy was singing like crazy and I've never smiled more. Um, I was my full self. I never felt more alive during that time. Everybody should try a Rob Ross retreat because uh, it gets you out of your mind and it really makes you come to your senses. It really does. Right now I'm coming to my senses right now because I'm nervous and I'm laughing. I feel like it makes your relationships a lot better. A lot more emotional. A lot more love in the air. I don't know, cut me off because I... <laughs> <laughs> You learn how you're just responsible for your own feelings and emotions and you just cannot control how other people feel no matter how much you want to. This was just an awesome group of people as always. I was really impressed by this one. There was a lot of girls. We all just got along so well and I miss every girl that was just here. It's crazy. Thank God for Diana. My highlight for this trip was getting in the cold water by the waterfall. That was really awesome. And then all the circles and the good food and all the connections that were made. It was pretty much, even when I got angry, it was all just one big highlight, really. I want to thank Colorado. I want to thank the deer. I want to thank the yellow flowers, the fields full of yellow flowers. I want to thank the cold rivers. Mm. The freezing ice cold rivers that give me brain freeze when I stick my head under them. 
And I want to thank God for directing our steps through this retreat. And I want to thank the, uh, the prayers that we had with him. And that really was probably my most powerful take home message, which is just to be in constant communication with God. Prayer is so powerful for me. Well, the take home message for me was that the exercises that we performed at this retreat, I just really want to take them into my life. I want to speak honest to all the people, uh, every not only my family, but to strangers. Um, I just think the communication that we learned was just very valuable and you can connect to people on a whole different level than you would imagine. I felt so open with myself and I just felt like I could be more myself than I realized I could be. I feel like I know myself more than I ever have in my entire life and I'm so excited to keep going on this journey. My takeaway from this retreat since I was on Maui before is that you can never stop working on yourself and working on finding out what truth is and what honesty is. And once you pop, you can't stop. One raw retreat is not enough. I would recommend this retreat for everyone. Uh, this is my second time and I cannot wait to see you. I would totally recommend this retreat. I, I wanna come on all of them. I kinda wish that my life was a living retreat because it just feels so healthy for me and I feel like it would just never get old. Um, I feel like the retreat is scary at some points, but it's just like the best kind of scary you would want. It's like jumping off a waterfall all the time. Your heart races and you just want to do it without thinking and the experience is awesome and the outcome is always better than you imagined. Sometimes when things trigger you, it's actually for the better and you have to really learn how to feel through things and tra instead of uh, trying to analyze them and I've definitely learned a lot and I've learned to acknowledge the things that I used to push aside and I feel like this is really going to help me in all of my relationships whether it's with uh, you know the girls that I'm talking to or my parents or my family and it's just really going to make me a better person. Who doesn't have you know things that they want to let go of emotions and thoughts and memories that don't serve you anymore that just need to uh, be released and given, you know, more space within your own being so you can live life a little bit more freely without that weight of the story weighing down on you. I'm very proud of my brothers. I was telling them um, that there was a moment where they were all walking together and I was way far behind them and I just was telling the people beside me, I was like, wow, those guys are my brothers. I was so thankful and felt so connected to them because I actually grew up with these guys and they're my life and I'm in their life and they love me and I love them. I'm just so proud of them. I almost feel like I love everyone who came on the retreat and it was just a, and one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had you will probably meet some of the most amazing people that you've ever met in your life here and that you will feel very, very connected to them with only knowing them for a few days. Just to see the changes in people's faces the next morning, just to see them feeling alive, their skin looks alive, they look like they're alive, and that's been really exciting for me. I would love to know that more people went and experienced something like this in their life. You have to check it out. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I've never done anything like this and it's definitely uh, something that I'm very, very uh, grateful for being a part of. I've already been on one, this is my second, and I'm going on a third. Of course I recommend it. I have seriously transformed as a person, even though I thought I was pretty rad to begin with. Uh, now I'm just so much more honest with myself and with others, and it's a really great way to live your life. And every time you go on one, you learn new things. If you, whoever you are watching this, were here right now, and you would say, should I go on a retreat, or what should I do with my life? Yeah, treat yourself like your own friend. You think of somebody you love, and what you would want for them, and to do that for yourself.